Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Getting a getting a good rain coming in. It's not it's not too much. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to get more, but uh, it's decent enough of a rain. We had a bunch of lightning earlier, still a little bit in the area. Most of the, the heavy rain just missed us and it, it's, it's to the east of us and now I think to the north of us. But hey, any bit is welcome. It's been getting a little dry since the last rain. We've had low humidity and some decently warm enough days, so it's drying things out. So this is always a pleasant uh, thing to have. Anyways, um, you know, a lot of people ask me questions. If you if you watched the video this morning, I, I haven't even gone. I don't even know what I said. I was exhausted. Um, we did our our weekly uh, ruck training. A uh, group of us guys in the tribe. We go out every week and we, you know, do about six and a half miles with gear on, and 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 then we incorporate certain kinds of training. Maybe it's medical, uh, you know, various other things in the middle of all that. And then of course you see me often, uh, usually a two or three days a week, out walking and I've got gear on. And a lot of people are like, what? why do you have that? Like, do you really think that you need an AR or you know, all the magazines and stuff when you're out, you know, walking around in the woods? I mean, is it really that dangerous? You know, a lot of people they think it's just homesteading on this channel and or you know maybe just prepping you know putting some food in buckets but there's more to it than that folks uh, there is a lot of bad things going on i i really shouldn't have to list off all the bad things you know food shortages and potential world wars all over the planet next pandemic you know a grid going down, all kinds of crazy stuff. Just people being nuts, right? Bad people, lots of increase in violence. And we know that things are going to get worse. So there's, there's very, very, very little indication that things could turn around and get better anytime too soon. So, you know, when you look at the world in the direction that it's headed, I think it's it's a pretty smart idea to try to get yourself ready, but not just with your preps or maybe with your money and your investments or, you know, even moving out to a, a place like where I'm at or many of you are at. It, it's good. That's good to do. But there really needs to be more. And what I say is meaning more is also the physical stuff. The physical stuff and the, the skill development and just getting yourself mentally ready, the combination of the mental and the physical skill set combined uh, can help you be ready for times that could be tough. Now, do I think that I will absolutely have to engage someone in a hostile way with the gear that you see me carrying? Quite possibly not. I hope that I don't. I mean, I don't think even the most trained person constantly is 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 wanting that to happen but nevertheless it could happen and so we should be ready and so that's one of the reasons why i'm doing that it's it's not that i think that you know i need it in that moment and it's not even that i'm larping uh you know kind of playing around it's that i'm getting my body physically ready for the time that i may have to use that gear now, a lot of you have some really good training, background, military, law enforcement. You've gone to special schools and you, you have a, a really good grasp of that kind of stuff. Some of you don't. Some of you have virtually no grasp. You know, you, you, you have no idea about personal defense and, and the, the tools that's needed to do that. You should learn. Everyone should learn. Our founders, uh, the founding fathers, and for the first you know hundred or so years, it was it was pretty much widespread that most anyone should have some basic knowledge on how to use a weapon and how to defend themselves. Uh, this is something that's been long forgotten because we live in such a safe so society. You know, we we don't we don't need that anymore. It's it's fine. You know, we just we just depend on others for our safety which is a pretty ridiculous thing to do, and it's one of the reasons why we've ended up in the situation that we're in. We need to take that responsibility back into our own hands, and we need to, to know that I, we're not dependent upon other sources for our safety and security. I understand some of you live in areas where it's more difficult to legally do that. Well, you shouldn't live there. That's, that's my bottom line. But we should be 
thinking along the lines have this mindset that you and your family's personal security, your, 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 the safety of your family is solely rests upon you. That's, that's the only thing. You may get outside help occasionally, but the real responsibility is on you. And so when you look through that kind of lens and you're trying to get prepared and you realize all the possibilities of things out there that we may face in the coming months and years, then isn't it smart to learn how to use these tools? And isn't it smart to learn uh, how to be effective, at least in some situations? I don't think that anyone expects the average Joe to become some, some kind of special operations operator. But you can get a pretty decent idea of how to defend yourself and how to make an offense or how to effectively and safely retreat out of the area, regroup. Uh, it, there, there's all kinds of things that you can do. And with some training and some discipline and some build, de building and developing of skills, an average person can get fairly decent at it. In fact, there's an ample and a mountain of evidence throughout, well, most all history, where an armed and, and dedicated and determined civilian force, uh, even though they may not even be very well trained or trained at all, can sometimes be a formidable odds against a standing, regular, trained military. So don't think that just because you don't have that level of training, you can't do it. Now, I know there's all kinds of naysayers and they say all kinds of things. Trust me, I've heard every story there is. I've heard every one of them. And you're not going to make me change my mind. Do I believe that the average person that's going out and doing as best as they can with the tools that they have to develop some level of skills and when it comes to personal defense is going to survive, is going to succeed? Absolutely not. We all have to realize that regardless of our skill level, regardless of the level of training and equipment we have, we could all fail. We could all perish. Even the most trained operator, it only takes just the right shot to take them out of the game. And so don't think that you're going to survive just because of that. But isn't it better, at least in my mind, to put up a fight, you know, go down with your boots on, make it at least difficult for them, than, you know, to just give in. Now, of course, the, the best thing to do is to avoid the fight altogether. And so I always advise that. I advise that on here to the people around me. You should always avoid the fight if you can. But sometimes you just can't. Sometimes there is no other option. Sometimes it's, it's, a, it's a situation where you may not want to do that. You may not want to engage, but the fight is brought to you. Or maybe you have to go get someone that, that the bad people have. I mean, there's a lot of sick, depraved people out here in this world. And when things start to crumble and fall apart, I think the significance and the intensity that those sick and depraved people will prey upon people will be even more. And so the likelihood that someone has kidnapped a loved one and you have to go get it back, get them back, it's possible. And so just avoiding a fight altogether is not always the best option. It should be the first option, but it may not be the best option. And so that's when it comes into knowing how to do things. Hopefully, you're a part of a group and someone in there has a little bit more expertise in this and that they can teach others. If that's not the case, you should seek out people that can properly train you. And even if you can't do that, at the very, very least, and I know it's not the most ideal, but at least try to find some really good uh, tips and, and skills that you can learn online. Uh, again, I know that that's not the most ideal. The point is, is that we have to get past this idea that, well, only the, the elite trained forces that are heavily armed and that have the, you know, unlimited logistics can actually do anything. If that's true, then why are any of us doing anything at all? Again, history shows that that's not the case. History over and over shows that uh, a very determined civilian force, you know, so citizens that, that arm themselves and that take a stand on their own ground, 
uh, time and time again have a pretty good odds at being successful. And so to the naysayers that say it's silly to do all this training, it's silly to do the stuff that people are doing and that I'm doing and that our group and that many others are pushing people to do, ignore it. If that's the way they feel and they want to, you know, wave the white flag the first chance they get, then I guess they can. But I'm telling you that you can develop certain levels. Again, you're not going to be tier two or tier one or probably tier three, but you can develop certain levels of skills when it comes to defense tactics and even offense tactics uh, with some time and dedication with the people around you. So, when you see me off with my stuff and you hear myself and many others online encouraging you to get out there and train, you should do so. I don't think anyone expects you to be an elite soldier, but you can be a very competent citizen that is willing to go to the end to defend what they have and defend what's important to them. And so, can't tell you what to do, but I can advise you that I would seriously be training as often as you can. And it's not just what you see me do sometimes when I'm walking or like this morning, but also around the home. A part of carrying the gear is becoming comfortable with it, but you should also be training in other instances while you're gardening. Uh, I don't need that while I'm gardening. I don't need a rifle with me while I'm gardening right now. But do I take a rifle with me while I'm gardening? Yes. Some of you might say that's crazy. But I'm going to get to the point that I probably will need a rifle while I'm gardening. So I choose to take it with me now so that I am conditioned and understand that if things happen, it's right there and I'm not having to run halfway across the field to get to the house. These are things that we should be doing and preparing ourselves because we know these things, these inevitable bad times are coming at us. We don't know how severe they are and what kind of chaos they will bring, but we know that the odds are ever increasing that we may have to do this kind of stuff. And so isn't it smart that at least on your own homestead and in your area and with your tribe, start now developing the, the, the skill set and the muscle memory and, and the, the, the mindset to be using this stuff on a regular basis so that when you get to the point that you actually have to use it, it's already there, it's already natural. And so there's always going to be the naysayers. There's always going to be the ones that laugh. There's always going to be the ones that say that you don't have the proper training. You don't have the developed skill set. You're not training enough. Well, no one's training enough, but we can train to a certain point and to develop a certain level. Uh, and maybe it's just enough to, to survive. Who knows? We don't know, but isn't it worth trying? Isn't it worth putting the effort in doing that? Folks, you know that you should be doing the things. You know you should be getting yourself ready. You know that things are worsening really on a daily basis. And you need to be getting your houses in order and preparing yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.